we haven't seen any stories they wrote which have violated media ethics, he said, explaining that the school monitored the work of its former students. I believe that W.A. Lone and Kai Aso Oo performed the most important role of journalists which is revealing the truth, said Yanang Mo. Finding defects, problems and revealing them in a positive way gives a chance to fix things and that benefits the society and the country. A second witness, Than Sin So, had worked with W.A. Lone at a charity distributing humanitarian aid to the victims of natural disasters and described him as being consistently ethical and disgusted by corruption. At the time of their arrest in December, the journalists had been investigating the killing of 10 Rohingya Muslims in Indin village in western Myanmar's Rakhine state. The killings took place during an army crackdown that United Nations agencies say sent some 700,000 people fleeing to Bangladesh. Prosecutor Mo Thursday Ongs questioned the witnesses over whether they could have known what the intentions of the defendants were while they were reporting and whether they believed the journalists would behave unethically. He declined to comment after the proceedings. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo called for the immediate release of the reporters on Saturday. UN Human Rights Chief, Zaid Rod Al Hussein, has also recently called for the case to be dropped immediately. Final arguments Judge Yelwin adjourned the court and scheduled final arguments from both the prosecution and defense to be heard in two weeks. The judge will declare a verdict in the weeks following the final arguments, according to legal experts. On Monday, Kai Aso Oo's wife and daughter and W.A. Lone's pregnant wife, who is just four days away from her delivery date, sat in a courtroom packed with diplomats. The day of decision will arrive soon. We believe that it will proceed in a fair and just way, said W.A. Lone, before he was taken back to jail. Kai Aso Oo and W.A. Lone have testified that police lands Corporal Nang Lin and another officer handed them documents during their meeting at a North Yongon restaurant, but that they had no time to look at them before being arrested as they left. Other police witnesses have previously told the court the reporters were arrested at a random security checkpoint by officers who were unaware they were journalists, and found to be holding secret documents in their hands.